Hi, today's topic is cleansing and detoxing. And um, there are a lot of different ways that you can look at this. Um, today I'm just going to really briefly talk about a few different tools I use when I'm kind of in that mode. And I like to cleanse seasonally. I feel like that makes the most sense because our diets change a little bit with each season. And I do find that I become a little bit more active as spring <clears throat> rolls around. Um, so it's the new year. And I feel like a lot of people are starting up new routines, or maybe they did at the beginning of the month. But I just wanted to give you some tips and tools that I use in my life and in, with my family. Um, and these things all kind of seem to work for us. So we not we started on a um, a thirty day supplement challenge at the beginning of the month which I didn't stick to entirely. Um, in my defense, we did go on a vacation. Um, so I took a brief hiatus for a few days, but I, um, some of the things that I've really been loving are um, these essential zymes, which are digestive enzymes. And I think um, key to any cleanse or detox is to get your gut back in a good place. So oftentimes that means that our liver needs some love. Um, so some herbs that I love for detoxing are burdock. And this is burdock root. Um, and you can just drink it in a tea form. So steep it and then drink it. Another herb that I really love is dandelion. And you can get dandelion or burdock tea kind of anywhere. So um, there's also, you know, tinctures of kind of anything. So if you just look through those different options and figure out which works best, I feel like that's what we do. So we use the tincture sometimes and sometimes I'll make a tea. And I actually really love this dandelion tea. And um, those are great ways to help your liver just function a little bit more <clears throat> effectively and kind of detox it and clean it out. Um, Key things that I say every single time are breathing, like breath work is huge and can be really huge if you're detoxing or cleansing your body. And then spending time outside up to 20 minutes a day is really beneficial to your brain and your heart and your breathing, your oxygen levels, all of those things. Um, and then obviously water, so drinking lots of water. I just use this pickle jar. I have one upstairs and one downstairs and I just refill the pickle jar and drink water all day long. Um, of course, there are a million other things you can do when you're detoxing. It's good to choose foods that are um, cleansing foods. So in the spring, I find that to be easier to get a hold of those things, but sometimes you'll find in the produce area, um, beets are really great and then Bitter greens are awesome also, and those actually can grow in pretty cold climates, so they're not too hard to get your hands on, like arugula and even just lettuce, um, kale, any of those bitter, more bitter greens um, can be really great. Garlic is really cleansing, and um, it's always good to, if you're, you know, making smoothies or something, maybe throw some chia seeds in. They're pretty easy to get your hands on also, and then berries, and um, so we try and add those things to our smoothies. A few oil blends that I like, um, GLF is for, supports your gallbladder and your liver, so I, this is a vitality oil, and you can eat it if you want to. I don't, I actually just rub it um, right above my stomach, where my liver lives, and yours does too. So um, it's just, I, I don't know. I like to put it on my body instead of in my body, but it's fine to put it in your body also. So what it has in it is grapefruit, um, ledum, helichrysum, and celery, celery seed. Oh, and hyssop and spearmint also. Um, so those are great for cleansing your liver. And then Juva Cleanse is another essential oil that I like to use, and it's also a blend. This is the one that I have open, but <clears throat> it has um, helichrysum, ledum, and celery. 
seed oil in it. And that one I actually do sometimes eat a drop of. And of course, you you can always grab those vegetable capsules and fill the capsules with the oils if you don't like the taste of them. And something else I've become pretty addicted to is um, Ningxia Red. And it's um, a super antioxidant juice. Um, and it has wolfberries and, oh my gosh, like a million other fruits in it. So, and it tastes delicious and it gives me a lot of energy and I just feel better when I drink it every day. Um, okay, I think that's all. Oh, and then my probiotic. That's another thing that I've really been into this last 30 days that um, I have been religiously taking every night. And I take it before I go to sleep and you can get a probiotic anywhere. I think it's great to research what you're getting because it can have different proteins in it that maybe agree with your body or don't. But um, I really love this Life 9. So that's all. Good luck. Cleansing.